Girls, what are your motivation to study hard, get a job, and be independent? So you don't have to depend on any man in your life? At first, I do agree with this. I mean, I'm a girl too. But I've been thinking, can we really do everything by ourselves? Like being totally independent from others. Is it wrong for a girl to ask for a man's help? Is it wrong that I like it when someone help me? So do I have to really study hard, get a job and be independent? Just for the sake that I need to prove myself that I don't need a man in my life. Again, when we go through this statement, we know it is not 100% right, though it is not 100% wrong. And it is just as equally important for us to study the wrong ones, just like how we cherish and embrace the right ones. So what is wrong with it? Before I proceed, I would like to clarify that all of these are just my personal opinions. You are free to agree and disagree, and I am more than happy if you would like to tell me why. So, again, what is wrong with it? Number one, we cannot do everything by ourselves. In fact, we depend on others a lot. As much independence that we want to gain, we cannot live all by ourselves. All of us are connected to each other. All of us need each other. We possess different qualities among each other, but we don't possess all of them. It is totally normal to depend on other people to do things for us. So women do depend on men to do some stuff, just like how men do depend on women to also do some other stuff. This is the reality of the world that we would not want to admit. Even I, talking right now, it feels hard. We keep seeing each other's fault and pointing each other's flaws and telling ourselves that we could live a better life without them. But in reality, we need them, just like how they need us. So does that mean that we cannot be independent at all? No, desiring to be independent does not mean cutting off any relations or declining any form of help from others. What we do mean by saying that I want to be independent is that we don't want our lives to be entirely dependent on others and we don't want to burden people with our own selves. We want to minimize the help that we get as much as we can. This is also normal. In fact, it is a good thing that it is normal. So both our dependency and independency are balanced. Number two, we want to be independent because of ourselves. Girls, we should focus on receiving minimum help and helping out to the max. Why? So we can prove to guys that we don't need their help? No. We should focus on that so we can become a better person. That's it. You will be the best person you can be if you can benefit people the most. Imagine how many people you can help if you can develop yourself to become more and more capable of doing things on your own. But of course, we won't do all things alone. We ourselves, we need help sometimes. And people will usually volunteer to help. So what's wrong with letting them to help? Let's learn to allow ourselves to accept help. Because by doing this, we will find more peace and we will gain three advantages. I improve myself as I observe how other people help me. So I can do it on my own next time. My work will be settled faster and easier. I build connections with those who help me by prepping myself to help them in the future. So ladies, study hard, get a job and be independent so you can be the best person that you can be. In the meantime, if a guy offers to help you, instead of declining it, just let him do the work. Do both, and you will be the best, and you will produce the best for others.